<laughs> Thank you. And there is a Wendy White, of course. So many. I'm surrounded by Whites today. <laughs> you but, are. But that really must have been a thrill down there. The, the ladies' doubles last year, the mixed doubles this year. It was uh, enjoyable. I mean, both this year and last year, when, when I won, I think I was having the most fun, and that's when I played my best. 30, 15. That's what it's all about, isn't it, Robin? I know Martina has gotten Billie Jean King to come in and sort of be her mentor to help instill the fun back in the game. I think you can see that Martina since Wimbledon. Um, she's just really enjoying herself, not only when she's playing her matches, but on the practice court. <laughs> and what about Hannah Manlakova? Hanna, um, I think, picked up a, a very good partner this week. Um, they haven't played much together but they're both very strong, very athletic, and just seeing them on the other side of the net is a little intimidating. Perhaps you could tell us just what it's like down there. Is it hot on the court surface? The court surface, actually, the last few days, I think it's been probably the best weather to play in here in New York that I've ever played in the last few years. It's not very breezy on the center court, and uh, the temperature hasn't been too hot. How does the speed of this court compare with the outside courts? I would say it's it's a little bit faster. Um, not a whole lot. I mean, I think I really enjoy playing on the speed of these courts. She won't get that back. That's what you call using all the court. Lovely handwork here by all the players here. We see Hanna scramble. Now watch the angle by Sabatini. Hanna almost stumbles there, but gets it back. Martinez covering the middle there, but then that leaves the old, almost the alley open. For all, Mandikova to Graf. Love, 15. She waited a little bit on that first volley there. So what happens, you get a little tight. You don't hit the ball out in front quite as well. so important to get that toss out in front of you when you're playing doubles. Get your weight going forward. Manlakova has that toss just a little too far to the left, I believe. Second double fault that was. Well, that must have been a familiar sight to Hannah and Martina. That huge forehand from Steffi Graf. Three big points. Oh. 15. Right 40. choice. Martina had to cross, too. When you're down love 40 like that, you really need to help your partner out. Create some diversion tactics. Do anything you can to mess up the return server. Martina's like an octopus up at the net, isn't she, Robin? She's got tremendous hands, and uh, her backhand volley is, is, there's nothing better in the game than her backhand volley. <laughs> what about Steffi Groff's serve? Has her serve become, or first serve become that much tougher to return now? Is there a lot more pace on it than there used to be, say, a year or so ago? I'd say so. After after seeing it this week, um, she mixes it up very well too and gets a high percentage of the first serves in. But it's it's a very difficult serve to return. It's tough to read sometimes. Extraordinary fact here unearthed by Leo Levin for us. He tells me that Hannah has missed only two first serves, and she's double faulted both times. 
There's consistency for you. All those first balls in, which is what you should do in doubles, Robin, get the first one in deep. It's so important, especially at this time in a set when it's four all and they're starting to get a little more pressure. And beautifully held, despite those three break points, 5-4, Mandikova, never put over, second set.